We got oil, smoke, and vacuum leaking out of this crack. Let's suck out the smoke and get her fixed up. First thing we gotta do, pull the ignition coils, get access to the hardware for the valve cover. Once that's all pulled, we can get this garbage valve cover out of here and start cleaning up the mating surface. I like to pull the studs and clean it up using a rag, some brake cleaner, and some red scotch bright. I put a quick spit shine on the hardware using my old Hobart coffee grinder, and we are ready for the new cover. But we gotta check that gasket, make sure it's in place from the factory, and I like to use a little bit of gasket maker on any problematic corners. New valve covers going on. We got cleaned up hardware and some fresh grommets, and we're gonna torque this thing to spec, working our way from the inside to the outside. Now that the valve cover's all buttoned up, we can throw the Ventus back into the intake and start rechecking for leaks. Valve cover's looking good, but would you look at that? We got a vacuum leak at the oil cap. Sometimes when you fix up these bigger leaks, it moves to the next smaller leak, and that's exactly what we have here. But you know what? You'd never be able to see this with the naked eye, and that's what's so great about this smoke machine. Got the rest of the car buttoned up. We fired it up. She's running mint. She's running cherry, and we are all good to go. And now we need an oil cap. 